Hey everybody, this is Bill Faith, and this is the Ask Limo You Show. Thomas, that's a big question. You're putting me on the hot seat here, buddy. There are a tremendous amount of softwares that are actually coming out and have come out recently. We've talked about this topic in past videos, Thomas. I would reference some of my previous videos probably, you know, maybe a couple of months ago. But here's the deal. I think that there's been a dynamic shift in the capabilities and functionality of the new wave softwares that are coming out versus the traditional legacy softwares um, that have been available in the industry. And if I was an operator and I would be really assessing first and foremost how, I in, how I'm operating today and how I intend to operate into the future. Look, I think that businesses and industries are always in transition and we are in a major transition in our industry right now. Uh, the TNCs, the, the on-demand effect uh, and I'm not just referring to Uber and Lyft. I'm actually referring to, you know, the, the, the Amazon Prime switching over to Amazon Now effect. I think that we have to be able to provide at least near demand technology. We don't have to be on demand where I can pull up the app and I can have a car in two or three minutes. But I think there's going to be this 15 to 20, maybe 30 minute window that we're going to have to be able to be able to service our clients in because that's what they're going to be expecting. It's one of the reasons that you see websites that have live chat or somebody that answers a phone in two rings. I mean, heck, Dawson Rudder coined this at Commonwealth years ago, will answer your phone in two rings versus calling into a center and having it five, six, seven rings. So I think the nimble softwares, the agile softwares, the ones that are streamlining and automating and provide on-demand service and con connectivity with other softwares tying into the GDS networks to where your clients can get quick, easy access to your information to book, to access ride receipts, to you know call up vehicles, get chauffeur information. All of that stuff is the critical component from your customer's standpoint. So all I can do, Robert, is give you my opinion. There's two softwares that I would be looking at today. And if you're going to the LCT show in Las Vegas in a couple of weeks, this is just my personal opinion. I would be looking at Limo Alliance. You can find them at limoalliance.com. And I would be looking at Affiliate Ground Network, which is affiliategroundnetwork.com. Those are the two new age softwares that I think are the best in the industry because they will actually help you optimize and streamline communication, provide on-demand, white-labeled services uh, through the apps for your customers, integrate with your affiliate network on a global connectivity standpoint, right? All the things that I would want in a business because my customers, I believe, are, would be demanding that. Now, I don't operate a limousine company, but I definitely have my finger on the pulse of the industry because I work with over 300 companies right now. In kind of the legacy traditional side, I would be looking at probably two different softwares. One, Limo Anywhere, based on size and affordability. And two would be the Hudson Group. And I know the Hudson Group doesn't have a huge brand in our industry, and people think that they're kind of rideshare or tied in with the Go network or whatever it is. I was a Hudson user. I was a Limo Anywhere user. I also used Odyssey and I used Livery Coach, and they're all great softwares. But for me, when I want those robust capabilities of customization, not only internally and for my clients, from the legacy softwares, I don't, I can't get that with Limo Anywhere. It's a great tool. It's affordable, but you're kind of inside the box. With Hudson, you can almost customize everything. So out of those top four, I'd be looking at Limo Alliance and AGN, Affiliate Ground Network first, and then I would be looking at the Hudson Group for a more, I don't want to say robust technology, but in that legacy space.